the National Center for Women Development has called on state actors to encourage the increased involvement of women in politics and to vie for leadership positions. In commemoration of the International Women's Day in Abuja, the Director General of the Center, Mary Ekberi Eta, says the continuous act of violence before and after elections, which lead to the low turnout of women during election year campaign deprived women the privilege to contest for political position. She urged stakeholders to help raise the consciousness of women's political participation in the interest of national development from the grassroots. In the past, it is believed that more women turn out to vote than men. However, available statistics have shown that in 2019 general election, the total number of registered voter by gender was 84 million, of which 53%, that's 44 million, were male, and 43, 47%, 39 million were female, of the total of 26 million were accredited for voting. That is about 32% of the total registered voter and of their number, only 11 million women voted, negating the claim that more women vote than men in the 2019 general election. The question then arises, that if women do not vote and use their civil right effectively, how can they expect to be elected, occupy a political or political position? The International Women's Day is celebrated annually on March the 8th. Ahead of the day, the Hayes' Health Initiative has organized a webinar on the 2021 theme, Women in Leadership Achieving an Equal Future in a COVID-19 World. In this webinar, our women in leadership positions across several industries, from business to banking, communications to health and development. Executive Director, Hasey Health Initiative, Rhonda Robinson, in her opening speech, lamented that the COVID-19 pandemic has amplified the gender inequality in the society while advocating for a national response to the challenge. The lockdown uh, during the pandemic uh, curbed, to curb the um, virus, increased the instances of gender-based violence, of sexual and reproductive health uh, challenges, and seriously affected the women's, uh, women's livelihoods and economic opportunities. A report shared by McKenzie Global Institute um, revealed that women, though women make up less than two-fifths of the global workforce, they have suffered more than half of the total job losses from this crisis. The pandemic-induced poverty surge increased the likelihood of widening the gender poverty gap, meaning that more women will be pushed into extreme poverty than men. If women must rise to the top of their careers, Executive Director at Women in Successful Careers, Whisker, Fabia Ogumeko, says they must be mentored to build their capacity and sponsored for promotion opportunities. So mentoring is important because it develops skills and abilities of an individual through the other soft interventions like coaching, guiding, counseling. It also builds and develops self-esteem and confidence. Mentoring also broadens your professional network. You know, it expands, even if it's just one person, it expands and enables and enriches you by plus one. And in the best and in the best of situations, in, in, it increases you by plus many. You know, it also helps in promoting career advancement by preparing you, the mentee, for higher opportunities. On her part, CEO Aspire Coronation Trust Fund, Osai Alile, gave a presentation on how to finance women-led projects, noting that it's up to women to change the status quo. There are opportunities out there, but we as women must be ready for those opportunities and we must look for them. Nobody comes, gives you, um, there's no entitlement mentality. Um, nobody comes to give you anything, in the, you know, just hands it over to you. We have to be very, very conscious and very strategic about how we finance and how we push our projects out there in terms of our businesses or even projects that we're doing in the communities. According to the Deputy Director of Business, Noah's Ark Communications, Jumo Akinyele, 
Women need sponsorship and career advancement programs to promote networking. She also lists strategies for gender equality in top management positions. Can we have sponsorship programs where you can network, where women are able to show themselves, be seen, be heard, connect more with people? So at least you, we start to open up. People see what we are made of. People know that we can do these things. They're not just going to say, oh, because I am a woman, she cannot do it. Then you start to peel the layers. You start to see the competencies. You start to see the fact that they can really, really do this. So we need to be able to create these opportunities uh, for cross-networking. The fifth sustainable development goal is to achieve gender equality and to empower all women and girls by 2030. But nine years to the deadline, Nigeria is still a long way off from attaining the feat. These women, however, echo a solution to give more opportunities for women to play in the field of leadership. Aneta Felix, PLOS TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.